name is Julie Felix and I was Britain's first black ballerina. I started my dancing life in Ealing, London and um, my mother sent me to ballet school because I wouldn't sit still for five minutes. Um, all I wanted to do was dance and um, dance around the house, dance in the park, wherever I could. So she sent me to the local ballet school around the corner and I started my ballet career there. I used to do musicals, singing, dancing, tap, a little bit of everything, but ballet was my real love. When I was um, 15, 16, I had the opportunity to audition for Arts Educational School and I really wanted to go there because Julie Andrews went there and I loved Julie Andrews and I auditioned. I was offered a place but it was so expensive that my parents just couldn't stretch to sending me there. So I kept pursuing um, wanting to have ballet as a career and then I got the opportunity to audition for um, Rombert Ballet School and I was offered a place and uh, again very expensive but uh, in those days the uh, Inner London Education Authority, ILIA, were offering grants. You had to audition so I auditioned and I was offered a 75% grant so I went to Rombert Ballet School, the happiest years of my life. Three years, absolutely fantastic. Right at the very third year, um, the director of the ballet school sent myself and uh, one or two other dancers to be extras for Rudolf Nureyev's Sleeping Beauty. The uh, director of the company spoke to the director of the ballet school and said that she'd love to offer me a contract, which ultimately, by your third year of training, that's what you're looking for, professional contract. But um, because of the color of my skin, she said, we can't have a brown swan amongst a whole lineup of white swans. It wouldn't work. We can't give her a job. At the time, I was absolutely devastated I thought my world had come to an end. I didn't know where would, if she said no to me, who else would have me? And funnily enough, the rejection that I had from this lady just gave me so much fire in my belly. I said, I'm going to, I am going to achieve this. Um, during the that following year, Dance Theatre of Harlem came to London to perform at the Royal Variety Performance. And I went to take company class again. I thought, oh, let me get some experience just to see what it's like working with a professional company and one from abroad. And the director instantly, Arthur Mitchell, offered me a contract. The company used to travel all over the world, but all over America as well. Dark Theatre of Harlem was started by the um, assassination of Martin Luther King. Arthur Mitchell was the first black principal dancer in New York City Ballet and when Martin Luther King was assassinated he decided he needed to do something to honour the man himself so he decided to start a ballet company and um, went to different schools, different dance um, institutions and began training young dancers and built his own ballet company, which became a nationally, an internationally acclaimed company, which is why he found me in, in England. But um, many of the places that we went on tour to, uh, we did encounter problems. One, one very scary place, we went on tour to the south, and we were due to do a week's performance, performances. Um, as we were going into the theatre, the Ku Klux Klan were marching through the centre of the street. Uh, it became so dangerous that we had to cancel our performances because, um, I don't know if you've ever seen any pictures 
of what the Ku Klux Klan looked like. Well, in real life, it um, it's a, it's the scariest thing, and they're marching, burning crosses, and um, shouting out abuse. So the director said it's not safe for us to put on a performance, anything could happen, so unfortunately we had to cancel. I was living in Birmingham at the time when Covid struck and um, my husband and I had spoken about always wanting to retire and live our lives in Cornwall. Both of us when we were young were brought by our parents to the seaside and um, for me, having lived in London, it was always Devon and Cornwall. And so we said, well, why don't we have a look at different towns, different cities in Cornwall and see if we can find a place that we truly love and that we'd like to settle down in. And um, we put a marker on the first place being Lou and we never, we never looked at anywhere else.